Hey y'all, it's me Zoe here at Zoe's World and I have got another fabulous haul for you today. Actually, you're going to be seeing a few um, hauls from me today. Today is Thursday and it is early y'all. So we're going to start with Dollar Tree today. I know y'all have been waiting for the mega Timu haul. There is so much stuff you guys. I'm wanting to make sure that I have all the Dollar Tree separate from all of the Timu because when I did the other videos that I attempted to do, I don't know if you guys saw my community tab, I actually videoed this haul or part of a haul last Sunday and it did not work out. I attempted it another day. I believe it was Monday and it didn't work out. Um, for some reason, the timing was off. So when I was speaking, you could see my lips moving, but it was saying something totally different. The sound was than what the video was. If that makes any sense. I know that sounds weird. Anyway, I did it twice. So I'm hoping today's video is going to be better. Um, and since then, I've made a few hauls. So these are going to be large hauls, y'all. So I have divided them where before it was a mashup. So um, like I said, we're going to start with Dollar Tree this video. And you'll see Timo in another video later today. But y'all, it's a vegan. So grab you a drink because we're going to jump right in. It's going to be a hot minute. Oh, so thirsty. Alrighty, let's jump right in. So I have mentioned to y'all before, I work in a hospital, for those of you who are new, and um, we do what's called a Dollar Tree bag whenever it's a birthday um, with my coworkers, and we all just kind of pitch in and um, just pick up things from Dollar Tree, or sometimes it's Timu if it's like affordable things, but we try to make it an affordable little fun gift bag full of goodies. Well, um, we have one that is coming up, uh, Friday to be exact. And um, we are doing a gift bag for her. And it's not actually her birthday. It is actually um, a party for her. My boss is retiring. And we're so happy for her. We're going to miss her so much. Um, she doesn't watch my videos, so we're okay there. But um, I just, I'm so thankful and so blessed that I have worked for such an amazing woman. And these are some of the items that we picked up to go in her Dollar Tree bag for her retirement party. We got her other things for her retirement too, since it's a big deal. But um, we still made her a Dollar Tree bag, just it's tradition. So let's jump right in, y'all. First thing, I found this tea vibe. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's all natural green tea bags. You get 100 tea bags in here for the Dollar Twenty-five. And she's a big tea drinker like I am, so I'm super excited I found these. Then, um, so that was the, the green tea. I also found the all-natural black tea, 100 tea bags. So I got her a box of each to go in her goodie bag. And y'all, like I said, this is multiple little shopping trips I've done all into one because the other videos didn't work. Well, when I went back there on a different day, these tea bags were already all gone. So I'm glad I picked them up when I did. This next item is Vanilla Sugar Scent Body Wash. It's by Spa Luxury. And she kind of likes sweeter scents of things. So I thought this might be a good one for her, her goodie bag. This next item I picked up for Jack and I. Um, they had the sitting with the Valentine's Day stuff. It says Date Night. And it's just a book full of little activities y'all can do. So I thought that might be a fun thing to try. For $1.25, why not? Then I found these, um, they say compare to Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Towelettes. They're calling them hydrating facial wipes. They're made by the brand Be Pure. And you get 25 wipes in here. These are like the makeup remover wipes. This is what the package looks like and y'all I use these um I wear I wouldn't say I wear a ton of makeup but I do wear a ton of mascara and um whenever I take my my makeup off at night I use a makeup cloth first and I always use the Dollar Tree ones there's all different kinds there I try different ones all the time um I've never had this kind before this is a new one at my store so I did pick up two of those mainly because they said that they were the basically the dupe for Neutrogena Hydro so I love Neutrogena products, so I thought I would give those a try. But what I do is I um, get the bulk of my makeup wiped off first with these cleansing cloths. And then I have one of those, and you're going to see one in this haul because I picked up one for my boss's goodie bag. 
There are those fabric cloths. All you have to do is add water and um, no cleanser or anything, and it'll take your makeup off. I use those after I've gotten the bulk of it off with those wipes because I find those wipes will take a good chunk of it off. It still leaves like a little bit on there where that other one will take the rest of it completely off. I just, I don't like to get my towels completely nasty. So, you know, with all the makeup and everything on them, it does stain them, even though I put stuff in them to help prevent that. Um, so that's why I use the makeup wipes. And y'all, that's deja vu for me because I think I've already told you that once in the previous video that did not work. I pray this one does. <laughs> okay. On to the next item. Y'all, I should never go there when I'm hungry because I want all this candy and snacks. Found these again. The cookie buttercream. And I feel like these might be a holiday flavor. So every time I see them, I pick up another bag because they are delicious. And the problem is I don't pick up more than one because I want to eat them all. So that's what I got those for, for me. These next items are a staple in my house. It's the 15 count paper plates. Um, they are $1.25 for the 15. These also come in a 10 count, but it's a bigger size plate. I don't find that's a good, as good of a buy than the 15 count. We only really use these for sandwiches, things that are quick. So um, I do try to keep them stocked up in my house. And the more of our house that we're packing up, I'm getting rid of, I shouldn't say getting rid of, but I'm packing up a lot of my dishes and stuff. So you all are going to see a lot more paper products in, in my future. Okay. Get some of the stuff back in the bags as we go. This next item, y'all. Because of the mix-up of the videos, I am not sure if I showed it to you in a different haul or not. It was sitting next to my bags. I'm going to show it to you all again just in case. This is a makeup brush. It looks like a rose. It's so pretty. It's like a baby pink color. And it does come in a gold-handled one, too, but I like the pink. I think it will be really good for, like, foundation, that kind of stuff. I, I actually opened it in the store, and it's got really nice-feeling bristles, so... I think for $1.25, that's definitely worth it. But they had it in their Valentine's Day section. I thought it was cute. Again, I might have showed you this one before. I'm not sure. Sorry, y'all. Somebody's trying to beat me um, or message me. Um, I might have showed it to you before, but like I said, I have so many bags with so many different things in it. I've not put away yet because of the mishap with the video issue. So I wasn't sure what I've shown and what I haven't. I mean, I know the bulk of what I haven't, but this was kind of laying next to it. So I might have shown it before. Okay, y'all, on to the next item. Let me dismiss that. Okay. This next item is soft caramels. I picked these up for Jack. I actually got two bags of these, and he had one of them last night. Um, I, and I left the other one in here to show y'all. But he loves these. These are his favorite. They're really easy um, on your teeth, the, the soft caramels are. I got those for him. Then I got this little photo album to go in my um, boss's goodie bag. We are going to put some photos of some of us in there. So I thought this would be a cute little addition to her goodie bag. And these are so handy if you have like a little small event you've done or whatever and you want to keep a memory of it. So many of us just use our phones. We don't print pictures anymore. I do print pictures because I scrapbook. But um, this is a good way if you want to print the few that you did at, let's say, a you know, weekend trip or whatever, this is a good way to go ahead and print them and have a little small keepsake. So got that for her. Y'all, I'm moving, <laughs> I'm moving Timu bags as I'm going through here because like I said, everything was so mixed together because it was a mashup video. Yeah, it's just a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to make sure I get all the Dollar Tree out so that I have all the the Timu together for the next video today. Okay, on to the next bag from Dollar Tree. Y'all, I went in and this was the only Easter one I seen. Now, I pick up so many gnomes, y'all. I cannot remember if I already picked up Easter at another store earlier this year. You know, like within the past month. I cannot remember, so I really need to go and look and see. But if I did pick it up, he's such a cutie. I can use him somewhere else in the house. I try to set the gnomes kind of together, usually the little couples, but we'll see. But I thought he was adorable and I love this plaid pattern. That was the only literally single one they had left on their shelf when I was there. 
Next item, y'all. These are a nice journal I came across. It's from the brand Jot, which is a Dollar Tree brand. This one says, make it happen. I love a hardcover journal. I don't like the little flimsy ones. That's just my preference. And the inside has just lined paper. So I love these to make daily lists. Um, passwords, if you have to do a bunch of passwords, just different things. I love this nice, I love nice journals. So for $1.25, I was all about it when I found it. And so I got that one for me. But then I also found this beautiful Dream a Little Dream. And I'm going to include this in our boss's goodie bag because I thought this would be a fun way of her to just write things that she wants to do while she is retired now. She has all these plans of things that she wants to be able to do and things that she doesn't want to do anymore like or have to do. So I'm so excited for her. She has earned this retirement so much. I'm sad that she's leaving, but I completely understand. Okay, y'all. I forgot I had a couple Goodwill items, too, to share with you because I went there that day, too, and it was part of the mashup, but it didn't work. Okay, this next item, Dollar Tree. I found this Expressions hairbrush, bristle brush. Um, this is a nice, like, round brush, which is great for, like, people who, like, do their ends, like, under kind of thing. And that's the kind of haircut she has, so I thought this might be cute for her goodie bag. And it's that brand Expressions, which I believe is like a Walmart brand. Okay, oh, let's see here. I came across the fabulous socks they carry. And there's a bunch of them throughout this haul, so there's going to be more. But I found the Oscar Mayer, which is one of the ones I was wanting that first round. And I didn't see this one at my store, so I picked it up for me. Then a Yoohoo, because this is like one of my favorite drinks to have. So I picked this one up for me. I did get Yoohoo on the last run, but I used it in the giveaway boxes, so... I'm going to keep this one for myself. Then. I found this adorable ribbon. That's just got the little carrots on it. I think it is so sweet. It's going to be great um, for your Halloween journaling. And you get four yards of ribbon for that $1.25. So I think that's a great buy. And it's kind of a... I don't even know what this khaki with white in the background and if y'all can see that but I love the little carrots I think that is so sweet and precious can't wait to use that then y'all I found some more socks Ninja Turtles I love these so much I had to have a pair I think I have actually purchased a few pairs some for giveaways but um yeah definitely had to have the Ninja Turtle so we'll probably be coming across some more in another one of the bags I mean, you can't beat that for $1.25. Every time I see the fabulous socks, I'm all about buying them just because that price and, you know, it's licensed stuff. So why not go ahead and get it? Okay, y'all, this next item, this is that makeup a vanishing towel I told you about that I use after I use the wipes. This is the one I got for my uh, boss's goodie bag. It's pink and it has little lemons on it. All you do is add water and it'll wipe all your makeup off. And you don't have to use any cleanser at all. It is fabulous. You may have heard of the name brand version, which is the makeup eraser. That's the first one I ever had. And then I found out that Dollar Tree sells them for $1.25. They're not near as big as the actual makeup eraser ones. But for $1.25, why not? You can get a few of them for that price. So that's for her goodie bag. y'all this next one is big too <laughs> oh, okay I saw this happy Mardi Gras um headband and I just thought it was so cute do I have Mardi Gras plans I do not but Jack and I usually try to do something for every holiday so we'll probably end up doing something even if we just go out to eat so I'm so like festive that way. I just, I'm sure I'll wear it or I'll wear it to work or I'll do something fun with it. So I picked that up for $1.25. Everything in those, in these hauls, I believe is $1.25. I don't think I got any bonus items this round. If I come across something that was a bonus, I'll let y'all know. Okay. These next items, y'all, like I said, I've had this for about, well, since like last Saturday, I think is when I got stuff. Um, and 
so I'm already eating these snacks. <laughs> so these are the um, freeze-dried fruit snacks, and um, they are phenomenal. I, I so want a food dryer so bad. Food, uh, it's not a dehydrator, it's um, actually a freeze dryer. And um, I got the pear crisp that is freeze-dried, and then the peach one. I will say the peach one was more tart, where these pear ones were deliciously sweet and amazing, and I will eventually own a freeze dryer. I had priced them out because I had been wanting one for a while. You can really, once you freeze dry your food, you can store it in mason jars for like a really long time. All you do is add water, and then it re-dehydrates your food. Um, so it's a really amazing thing, especially if you're a prepper of any kind. Um, but... I've been wanting one, and when I priced them, they were like over $2,000. So I will eventually have one. That'll be a new envelope I'm saving up an item for. If y'all don't know, I have been saving money in envelopes for specific things that I want to purchase. Um, I did save enough money for my deep freeze. I was super excited about that. We haven't purchased it yet because we got to talking about it, and we're like, do we want to do it while we're living here and then have to move it? So we're still on the fence about it. We haven't made no decision. Okay, next item. Um, my friend Jamie that I was talking about um, on here, we work together. She and I both love fabulous ink pens. And I found this Cello Super Glide pack of three. And I just thought, these are so nice. I feel like I purchased these before and I think they did write really well. So I'm excited to try these. So one is for me and one is for Jamie. Then I picked up this 10 pack of animal crackers. I buy these all the time. They are fabulous. Um, and I like that they're individually bagged because I can take them to work, sit them in my cabinet. And when I want a snack, I just grab one. Um, I will tell you, they're not as fabulous as like the name brand ones, but for $1.25, you get 10 bags. It's a great buy. And they're definitely edible and everything. They taste good. They're just, I know some of the name brand ones are really good. But my, um, Boss's goodie bag. She loves these too, so I picked this one up to go in her bag. Her name is Robin, by the way. And Robin, if you happen to see this video ever, which I don't think she watches YouTube actually at all, but if you happen to see this video, we love you and we're going to miss you very much. Okay, the next item I found, y'all, I was so excited about this. More socks. I am sock crazy. You get a two pack. And um, it had these animal print, like paw prints, dogs or cats. Y'all know both. I have a dog and a cat. And it's my favorite color, pink. So, you know, I had to have them. And it is a two pack of socks. So, you also get the polka dot. So, this one is a size. It says it's extended size. So, it fits shoe size 8 to 14. I wear an 8, so th this will be fine for me. Okay. Then... I pick these up most of the time for our different goodie bags that we do because they work great. Um, these are called shower fizzers. I got one pack in the lavender scented. They're a three pack. And then I got one pack in the coconut scented. And basically what you do is when you turn your shower on, you know, hot water's coming down, you drop them in the bottom, you know, in the floor of the shower. And the water will actually melt them, and then the, ste the steam will cause the fragrance to come up. And it's just, it makes for a wonderful shower. So, highly recommend these. They work great. These are for um, Robin's goodie bag. These, y'all, I couldn't believe. A three-pack of crew socks, adult shoe size 6 to 13. You get a three pack and they're made by the company Socks Crazy Boxer. So they're not a, um, they're not a Dollar Tree brand. Uh, they're a name brand and you get three pair in here for that $1.25 and they are NASA socks. So there's three different prints in here. I don't know what the middle one, the middle one just looks like a solid to me. This one has this NASA print and then... This other one has a NASA print on it too, but it's just a different co different color pattern. So y'all, I think this is a great buy. A three pack of socks for $1.25. So I picked up 
two of these. One will be for me. One will go in my giveaway box. I keep a tote of stuff for my giveaways. I do a lot of giveaways, so I keep I do keep a tote of different items when I find things I think are good. So um, that's why you'll see me buying a lot of extra stuff for that specifically. This next item, um, this is from the brand Dream Dreamology, and it says it's wax strips for the face, chamomile. Hair removal strips are great for touch-ups and travel. Hair grows back finer and softer. Um, I actually have a wax uh, machine that I got from Timu. Y'all, I have yet to use that sucker. I've not even turned it on. But um, I did see these, and it looks like it's for a quick thing for traveling and things. So I thought I went ahead and picked it up because I'm always getting, like, little hairs here, down here. Yes, y'all. It's the fear of growing old. So <laughs> it happens. Maybe not to everybody, but it happens to me. So I cannot stand that I'm constantly plucking. But this is wax strips, so I think this will be a fun, easy way to do that on the go kind of thing. And it says you get, how many do you get in here? Eight strips and two wipes that you like wipe afterwards that kind of soothes the, from the waxing, you know, kind of get that tingling. You get the wipes to rub on it afterwards. So that's, I think that's a good find and it's name brand, so I might have to give those a go. Okay, next item. We are doing a potluck um, for our boss for her retirement Friday, tomorrow. Yeah, today's Thursday, tomorrow. I'm actually off tomorrow, but I'm going in for the potluck. And we're doing a chili dog bar. So, like, chili dogs and all the fixings kind of thing. And then we got a bunch of sides and chips and dips and desserts, several desserts. <laughs> But um, I was in charge of getting, like, ketchup, mustard, relish, uh, chopped onion, shredded cheese. What else is on my list? I have a few more things I got to pick up. But I saw this Fresh Deli Market mustard. Now, I'm a very particular mustard eater. I love Plockman's mustard. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but it's my favorite. But I was there. I mean, this will be fine. And I went ahead and picked it up to take into work. Then they also had Sweet Relish. So I got some of that for the potluck. And then I'm kind of, I wouldn't say I'm really funny about ketchup. I do buy Heinz at my house, but I've bought other brands before um, at Dollar Tree, actually. And I saw this vine ripe ketchup. And I've never tried this one. Um, I may go ahead and pick up another one, too. I, I don't know yet, um, but... I thought I would give it a go just because I've never heard of it. It says it's made in the USA, so I might give it a try. It is. It says it's distributed by Red Gold Brands, so um, it looks so nice and thick, so we'll give it a go. We'll see how it is, but for $1.25, that was a, a good buy for ketchup, so I'm taking that to the potluck. Then, y'all, sorry, I'm holding all this stuff because I have so much stuff in the front seat of this car. <laughs> Then I found this massager. It came in different colors. I thought this would be nice to go in her um, goodie bag. Because, you know, she's retiring. She needs to relax and just chill out. So I feel like she just works so hard. And she's so deserving of every comfort. So I was trying to find things to go in her goodie bag that would really, you know, be comforting kind of thing. So when I found that massager, I was like, huh. And I actually, like, rubbed it on my arm. I'm like, this actually feels kind of nice. So I picked that up to go in her goodie bag. Put this stuff away real quick. Okay, next. Here's the second pair of Ninja Turtle socks. This is for my giveaway tote. Then I found this shower headband. And these work so great to put your hair back. She's got short hair like I do. And, um... This is nice just if you want to put your makeup on or do your skincare line. It's so cushy. It's like a terry cloth material. And I found this one that I got for her to go in her goodie bag. It gets harder every year with the goodie bags. Luckily, Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game because they carry a lot of the same things but different, if that makes sense. So when we do one every year, you got to remember, did I get them that last year? I need to really start making a list. <laughs> okay. This next item was a part of that little section of stuff called um, compared to Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hand Gel Cream is what it says. Hydrating hand and gel cream, and it was with those wipes. And I thought, huh, 
I'll give that a go and try that. So I got that for me to try. Actually, I need some lotion right now. Let's let's just see how it feels. It's more. Uh, oh, I think it's I think it's sealed. So let's see. It is sunnier today, which is exciting. We've had so much rain, but y'all, it's still a little bit chilly this morning. We are supposed to get up warmer temperature. I think one day this week they said 60 even, which is is good right now for us. Um, but it's still a little bit chilly this morning. So I've got a lot of errands to run today. I am taking my little Gracie girl. They could not get her in to the groomer. My, my groomer is semi-retired and she has had a helper for a long time who's helped her. Um, but she was out for a little while. So she had, my groomer had been doing a mall and then she just went on vacation. So she's trying to play catch up with all of her regulars, which is, we're one of her regulars. And we would sometimes see her, the girl that helped her, but she was out too. So Gracie really needs to be groomed. Um, my Cujo had to be groomed because she was a Maltese and their hair, it gets very matted. And so, um, she had to go to a groomer to be like bathed and a cut and everything. She had like a specialty type cut, but, um, y'all, this feels so nice and light. I am not somebody that wants a thick hand lotion. I don't like a hand lotion that like doesn't rub in. I can't stand it actually, <laughs> or that feels like sticky and slick. This actually feels really light and nice. I think I'm going to like that. I think that one will be going into my purse to use daily. Okay, <laughs> next. But um, they couldn't get Gracie in when I called, and she's really past due. It, the main thing that she needs, yes, I do bathe her, but her, is her nails clipped. I cannot clip them because I'm afraid to. So <laughs> since Cujo passed away, I can get away with washing Gracie just in the tub at home, but I cannot clip her nails. So since they couldn't get her in for grooming, they said, but you can bring her in for her, her nails to be clipped. I can get that part done. So we are going to be taking her to get her nails clipped. And then we're going to go by our bookkeeper's office to drop off our taxes to get done. So we got a few things to get, a, to get accomplished today. I've got to get gas, y'all. I am on walk. We don't never let our car get this low. And I don't know if it was just a slight, like, it's been so cold <laughs> and going back and forth to work and everything just haven't noticed or what, but I, I worry letting your car get this low on gas, especially in the winter time. So I got to go get some gas like pretty quick when I leave here. Okay. Next item. I found these peeps flavored lip balms. So I got the cotton candy and marshmallow cream. Cause y'all know I love me some cotton candy. Got this one for me and it's pink. And then I found the grape marshmallow cream. And I got this one for Jamie. They did also have a strawberry and a vanilla. But I got Jamie likes grape stuff, so I got this one for her. So picked those up. I was excited to have found those. I'm all about the lip balms. My lips are so chapped all the time. I just try everything. Okay, next item. Ugh. Trying to make sure. Like I said, I had Timu and that stuff mixed together because of the mashup. Okay, y'all. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that is everything. I, I'm pretty sure. It, oh, no. Wait a minute. There is one more item. So, technically two more items. Picked up two more things of this popcorn. One for her goodie bag and then one for my coworker Lisa. She likes these. And I picked up another one of these Valentine's bags. I think it's so cute. And I needed an additional one. So got that. Alrighty, y'all. That is it now for the Dollar Tree bag. <laughs> so quite a lot of stuff. Um, I'm really excited uh, that I'm able to get this video done today early. Because, like I said, I've got um, some errands to run. And then when I get back, I've got that mega Timu haul to do. Y'all, that thing is enormous. I don't know how many items are in it. I was going to try to count them all, but I have a lot of smalls in it. And a lot of clothing items, um, jewelry items, scrapbooking items. Um, is there a purse in it? I can't remember. Is there a new per wallet, I think? There is just a variety of stuff in it. <laughs> so, I was like pricing it and just putting it in the back and so on just I just kept doing that because I'm trying to get it all together because like I said since the other video didn't work I had 
just bags everywhere. And I had Dollar Tree and Timu both in them because it was a mashup haul. So when I put everything away, when the video didn't work, I just shoved them all in the bags. <laughs> I didn't want it all over the house. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the mess I got going on right now. <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right. We just got through the Dollar Tree haul, which was a ton. And um, that will give me room when I get back from running my errands to have all the Timu separated out now and um, all that together so I can share that mega haul with y'all. So that'll be a little bit later today, but I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know what you're doing in the comments. Let me know, you know, what was your favorite item? Y'all did not um, do any comments. Let me know what state you were from this last, this last video. So, or did I even tell you that? Maybe that was in the video that didn't work. So for those of you um, who are watching this video, shoot me a comment. Let me know what your favorite item was and what state you're from. I thought it would be fun to see where everybody is located who watch um, our videos. So thank you very much. If you liked what you've seen today, please subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you be a part of our family. And um, give, us a, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. It helps YouTube know that you do like the content that you're seeing. Um, and it kind of pushes it out there more. Uh, so my understanding, I don't know a lot about that stuff. But um, pushes out there more for other people to see, see our videos. So I hope you like this again. Let me know where you're from and what your favorite item was. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.